okay so we'll start with the question number one so which of the following represents uh, a function right so we have four different graphs so the first one we have to identify which of the following graphs represents a function right so if we remember in mathematics one we have a concept called um, vertical line test so what does this test say if we pass a vertical line here if at any point um, we have let's say if we move this line in the graph at any point if there are two points in intersecting this line so this would not consider it as a function right so similarly if we move through here so we can rule out option number one since there are two points uh, the curve intersects the vertical line at two points so therefore figure one is not a function right so in the second case so as you can see if we move the vertical line throughout the curve intersects at only one point right so we can consider this second as a function so specifically which type of function this is a parabola right so parabola cons uh, for quadratic function we can find these type of graphs right so for the third option again if we pass through this again this line intersects at only one point so this is a 45 degree line they have not given that assumably this is a 45 degree line so we can say that this is the equation for this line right so for the next option again if we pass through a vertical line it only intersects the vertical line at only one point so therefore we can again we can consider this as a function so figure b c and d all these are functions right so moving on to the next question so which of the following represents a linear function so if you remember the, in the lecture correctly if a polynomial with a degree 1 right so for this the, the, the general form is ax plus b right so we have one variable where a and b are constants meaning that they are numbers space right and x is a variable right so in this uh, a function in this form will be a linear function right so the graph of linear function will be always a straight line so from the given options we have to find a function in this form right so the first option is given in the form ax plus b so we can say that this is a linear function so what about the second third and fourth options second option we have the degree 2 right so this is a quadratic function right so in the third option we have lan so it means that this is a log function right so here we have a number e which is a constant and we have x so this is a exponential function all right so moving on which of the following represents a quadratic function right so again as you can remember quadratic function we have degree 2 right so in the given option the first option the first option is a linear function the second option we have a, quad say a degree 2 so this is a quadratic function right so what about option number c and d right so in option c we do have a degree 2 but we also have a la logarithmic function so this given that if the f of x was only equal to 2x square plus 10 this would have been a quadratic function but here we have log of something right log base e that is nothing but natural log 
natural log of something irrespective of what is there inside the bracket so the outer function is a logarithmic function so op option c is a log function right so again this one option d option d we have e to the power 2 what is e, e is a number what is 2 t is also a number so this e to the power 2 whole is a is an, a constant and we have a single degree polynomial so this is also a linear function right so this is, is not to be confused with e power x right e power x is an exponential function but e square x is a linear function all right so moving on so they have they have asked as the domain of a function right so to get the domain of the function we have to make sure that this does not go to infinity right when does this function go to infinity only when it is in the form of something in the numerator divided by zero so this the denominator should not go to zero right so when for which value of x does this denominator go to zero that we have to find so this is nothing but x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to zero so we can factorize this we can factorize this as x minus 3 and x minus 2 is equal to 0 so we can say that x is equal to 3 and or x is equal to 2 so this means that whenever x takes the value 3 or 2 the denominator goes to infinity right so for every other value we will get some value of x right so it means that the domain of the function is nothing but the whole of r which does not include 2 and 3 so this is the first option right so but be careful that here also we have r not including 2 or 3 but here this is not a set right so this is a matrix which is not relevant to uh, the domain function right saying the, the domain all right so we'll move on to the next question okay which of the following options is or are true all quadratic functions are polynomial functions all polynomial functions are quadratic functions so right uh, we can say quadratic function the general form of quadratic function is ax square plus bx plus c all right so by just by saying any for any given number a b and c belonging to r this is a polynomial right of degree 2 right so we can say that first option is correct the second option they are saying all polynomial functions are quadratic functions wait so if i have ax plus b is this a polynomial function yes this is a polynomial function of degree 1 right so what about this x cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is this a polynomial yes this is a polynomial with degree 3 right so second option is not right so what about this all linear functions are polynomial functions yes we have already seen that if we have any ax plus b so that will be a polynomial function of degree 1 all quadratic functions are linear functions this doesn't even make sense right so polynomial fun quadratic functions are of degree 2 and linear functions are of degree 1 so these are not equal so option a and c are equal okay so the next question we have assume the following figure represents the graph of a function so we have they have given us a graph okay so in which of the following options the f uh, is or are true so this is again multiple select question so the first uh, option is telling in the interval okay so there is a repetition of these intervals let me just scratch this out okay there's been a typo mistake uh, i apologize for that okay so in the first options they are saying minus infinity to zero so if we are decreasing uh, increasing the values of x from minus infinity so let's assume they have minus infinity somewhere here 
and we are increasing the value from minus infinity to we are actually coming to minus 2 what is happening to the function the function value is is going on decreasing right we are moving in this direction so what is happening to the y value y value is is continuously decreasing till minus 2 so the first option is wrong so what about second option in second option they are talking minus 2 comma 2 is the function uh, the function is decreasing so what is happening to minus 2 comma 2 uh, from minus 2 the function is increasing and then it is decreasing right so they are only talking about only the decreasing function again the second option is also wrong so the third option they are talking about minus 2 comma 0 so here we have minus 2 and this is 0 in minus 2 comma 0 what is happening to the function the function is increasing right so this option c is correct so what about next option the next option tells us in the interval 2 comma 0 the function is decreasing sorry 0 comma 2 the function is decreasing in 0 comma 2 from here to here if we move along with the graph the function is decreasing right if we move from 0 the value is somewhere here and if we are moving to 1 here if it is 2 here so the function value is decreasing right so option d is also right so the next option is in the interval 0 comma infinity the function is increasing so from here till the infinity right so what is happening the function is decreasing and then it is increasing again this is also wrong so the next last option is in the interval 2 comma 3 the function is increasing so what is happening in 2 comma 3 in 2 comma 3 the function is increasing so the last option is also right okay next question so in the following figures c1 c2 and c3 again we have a typo here okay c1 c2 and c3 represents the curves okay so we they have given enough curves of three different functions so we have to talk about this thing so which of the following is true okay so the first one is among three curves uh, c1 is the fastest growth curve so what do you mean by a fastest growth curve so let's say let's only talk about this for the understanding purpose then we can consider the whole of uh, thing so we have two curves something three curves something like this okay so let's say this is c1 this is c2 and c3 okay so if we increase the x value right so i'll take this one uh, i'll say one and at point let's say point a and point b and point c okay so at point a we have three different values for c1 c2 c3 okay so let's say here at one the all the values of c1 c2 and c3 coincides at a single point and this will be equal to let's say whatever that is we don't bother what is that okay so if we move on move along the x direction let's say at point b the point b it intersects the curve at many three different points okay so we have one value for c2 sorry c3 another value for c2 and another value for c3 so which of these value is larger so c1 is larger c2 is again larger than larger than c3 right so if you are moving us moving given an increment for the x value so we are also seeing large increase in the y value right so for we are only moving by this value right so here the y value is adding is changing by this much in the equation one sorry uh, curve three in curve two the y value is increasing by this much but in curve one the y value is increasing by this much right so we can see that growth in the c1 is larger than c2 larger than c3 c1 greater than c2 and greater than c3 so again this happens also in the negative r direction right so now let's look at the options okay um, among these three curves c1 is the fastest growing curve yes according to our understanding c1 is the largest fastest growing curve among these three curves c2 is the fastest growth curve no this is wrong 
okay among these three curves c3 is the fastest growing curve again this is wrong c1 is fastest growing curve is faster growing curve than c2 yes so this option is right c3 is faster growing curve than c2 again no this is wrong so c2 is faster growing curve than c3 yes this is a right option so moving on to the last question which of the options are correct okay any linear function is always increasing function any quadratic function is always increasing function e to the power of x is always increasing function and ln x is always increasing function so they've given that uh, four different types of functions right so if it is difficult to visualize let us draw these graphs okay okay so let's say let's say what about linear function so we can have linear functions like this or we can also have linear functions like this right so what about this one this is a linear function but this is also decreasing function okay so next what about the second option in the second option is so in second options we have a quadratic functions so we can have a quadratic function something like this right so what is happening here in this interval this quadratic function is decreasing so again option 2 is also wrong so what so let us draw the graph of e to the power of x right e to the power of x will be something like this all the exponential curve right okay so this is always increasing function so what about option d option d we have ln x so how does the function of ln graph of ln x looks like something like this right so again consider any of the uh, interval we can see that ln x is always increasing right so we can say that option c and option d are the right option 